Hello, I'm Richard from Batman Europe and today we're here at Rails of Sheffield for the Batman Takeover Day uh, which is a two-day event on Friday the 5th and Saturday the 6th of July. We've brought along with us a lot of new samples and some interactive displays for uh, visitors to come and have a look at um, and learn more about. And one of the stars of the show is our new NG7 Batman narrow gauge range uh, which is arriving in shops now. Rails have got their stock um, so you can come down and buy on a day and this is our first venture into 7mm narrow gauge which is uh, the narrow gauge equivalent of O scale. So we've got an EFE rail O scale locomotive here uh, and the NG7 range is the narrow gauge equivalent of that just like 009 is the narrow gauge equivalent of 00 scale. We're kicking the range off with four models of the Quarry Hunsett locomotives and we've got here Alice, Britomar, Margaret and Una uh, which are all available now and we've got three types of wagon that's the slate basket wagon as being hauled here by una and that comes with a realistic slate load of dress slates uh, we've got the open flat wagon which is uh, being used to carry 009 alice here uh, they were used in the quarries to transport large slabs of slate um, to the dressing houses and then we've got the coal wagon as well which again comes with a resin load depicting a coal load and these were used to carry dress slates down to the port and then they'd return full of coal to power the locomotives and the machinery in the in the quarry to go with the models we've got some of our wonderful scene craft buildings with this slate built engine shed the coal store and the water tower and to get people started in this brand new scale we've got some starter packs which feature the locomotive a selection of wagons and they're available with or without the buildings and you can also have the locomotive with sound fitted, which brings an, another dimension to your model railway. With the sound fitted, it's going to be operated on both analog and DCC control systems. Uh, so you can enjoy that aspect, whatever control system you use for your railway, or you're going to use for your new NG7 layout. Um, and that includes your running sound effects, things like the whistle, um, There we go. We've got things like um, the illuminated firebox with a firebox lighting system in there, um, which we can play the sounds of the door opening and then the shoveling of coal and the lights will come on and react accordingly to that. So lots of play value with these uh, new models. Moving on from the NG7, we've also got um, our brand new Batman Branch Line Class 08 diesel shunter on demonstration here. This is showing the new auto-release coupling system, which is a new technology for Batman Branch Line, um, and that is giving hands-free uncoupling when the model is used on DCC. We're running a bit of a demonstration here, which is automated using our new DCC Kinesis system, um, but essentially you press one function button and it does the whole uncoupling operation for you. That is using any standard tension lock rolling stock that it's coupled to. Uh, you simply couple up like you would normally, and then the uncoupling is all handled through the auto-release coupling system. One press of a DCC button and it's all done for you. Aside from that, we've got a lot of samples on display which many people won't have seen in the flesh for themselves yet. Um, starting with our Graham Farish range, recently we've had the new tooling anchor mounted tank wagons coming through from Graham Farish, they're in stores now. We've got some new versions of the TEA tank wagons, that's the larger bogey wagons and these are going to be out in the shops in the next few weeks. On these we've got some new tooling for the ends to give some nice variation and new derivatives of those wagons. Always very popular in a nice long train which end scale is perfect for allowing the space to do that. We've got some more of the popular BR 20 ton brake bands coming through um, and then we've got some of the class 350 electric multiple units. This is only the second time we produce this model um, but we've brought it back up to date with the London North Western Railway livery and we've also got the stunning metallic effect of the Transpennine Express uh, which we've had to do some tooling modifications to bring uh, full accuracy to that model and we've completed those now and these models will be in the shops very soon as well. We've down here got a selection of our 00 scale brand new class 08 and 09 diesel shunters. Uh, one thing we like about this is the removable roof section. This gives access to a bank of 12 micro switches 
which on this particular example, you can see we've got six light features at each end of the model. So in total with the cab light, there's 13 separate lights fitted into this wonderfully small package. In addition to the lights, we've got Stay Alive for DCC users. We've got a speaker fitted to every model. The Stay Alive is also fitted to every model, but only works on DCC. And we've got the easy access to the DCC decoder socket as well. Alongside that technical advancement for the model, we've also brought it right up to date with the detailing and the tooling options that we can offer to give you all of the versions of the 08 and the 09 over the 70 plus years that the real locomotives have been in service. And at the start of August, we'll be announcing the liveries, pricing and availability for these models, which will be arriving early next year. And that'll be in our Autumn British Railway announcements, which will be on the Batman YouTube channel on the 7th of August. So tune in for that. Moving down, we've got our brand new Class 69 locomotives. This has been in development for the Branch Line range for a good number of years now. Uh, and we recently, well, last six months or so, we had these engineering prototypes come in, um, looking, looking the part already, really. We've got the auto-release couplings on here too, uh, for the sound-fitted deluxe variants. And we're just waiting for the livery samples of these. We've got four exciting, colourful liveries to launch the Class 69 with. Um, and later in the year, we'll be showcasing the livery samples when they arrive, ahead of the release of the models in 2025. Sooner than that, we've got the brand new Baton Branch Line Class 31 arriving in stores. We've got the example here in Rail Freight Red Stripe livery. This is a brand new tooling, something that Batman has never modelled in 00 before. Um, it's got all the, the hallmarks of the 31, a wonderful set of uh, details on the roof. You've got the body side profile and the, the grills, which were quite uh, distinctive on the 31. Modelled in full accuracy. Got a lovely end detailing with the um, pipes and the buffer beam details that are optional fitting for the, the end user. Um, and these models too come with our auto release coupling system. So this is fitted at both ends of the model on the sound fitted deluxe versions, uh, but can be removed by a simple plug and socket arrangement if you wish to detail one end like we have here. Um, or you can have the hands-free coupling at both ends of the locomotive, totally configurable to your operational requirements. We've got the first models of these arriving at the end of July in the BR Blue liveries, and then further liveries are on the way for delivery in August. So really looking forward to those. Sticking on the theme of new arrivals, let me take you over here where we've got another brand new 00 scale diesel locomotive for the Batman Branch Line range, which is the Class 25. Uh, these models have been designed from the rails up. The Class 25 is something that we have produced before from Batman Branch Line, but we started from scratch to uh, capture every aspect of the 25 to a T. Um, and these models again will be arriving from the end of July. Uh, we've got three versions available for each, standard, sound fitted and sound fitted deluxe. The latter having a motorised roof fan, that also features on the Class 31. And we've got the windscreen glazing um, effect, which has been so popular on our Class 37 and Class 47. And again, that effect will be on the sound fitted deluxe Class 31s too. So with the 31, the 25, the 08 and the 69, there's really a lot coming for 00 diesel enthusiasts. Um, starting from later this month and going through into 2025. There's 11.25 to choose from. That covers the class subtypes 25.1, 25.2 and 25.3. Um, so a lot of choice there across BR Green, BR Blue liveries, including the Celebrity Tamworth Castle, which was the last 25 in action on the main line and received a retro BR Green two-tone livery. And that's something we've replicated on the branch line model. For our Batman Branch Line range still, we've got the power vans. This is again a new prototype we've not modelled before in 00 scale or, or any scale indeed. And this is quite a distinctive van with its outside framing, the offset doors um, and the intricate detail at the end all captured on the Branch Line model. We've got three liveries on those arriving at the end of the year. We've also got some new Mark 1 coach tooling. We've got the RU here, Restaurant Unclassified, uh, the most numerous restaurant vehicle built by BR, so one that is uh, very much a missing link for our branch line Mark 1 coach range, but now we're filling that hole, along with the brake second open and the first open type. So three brand new toolings for the branch line Mark 1s. They're gonna be out later this year too. And um, we've got liveries including Crimson and Cream, Maroon, Chocolate and Cream, um, we've got the RU 
coming in SR Green as well. And there'll be more liveries on those next year, um, including some more contemporary liveries, blue and gray, and the year is onwards from that. Sticking with the diesel theme, we've got more versions of the Class 03 that are arriving very soon indeed. Uh, for the first time, we're offering every version of the 03 with sound fitted. Um, and without sound fitted, so you've got the choice there if you want to have the sound effects or not. Um, and we've got the Fowler 3F Ginty coming back too. Um, we've got three versions going to be out in the, in the next month or two. And these, again, come with sound fitted or non-sound fitted to suit your preference, including two preserved locomotives, 47406, which is preserved at the Great Central Railway, and the locomotive that is now preserved at the East Lancashire Railway too. So uh, something for both the BR enthusiast and the uh, current scene modeler who might want to add a preservation loco to their collection. We we'll move on to our EFE rail range, and here we've got the LSWR Adams 02, uh, which has come back into the stores now, that's available already. Uh, we have actually got five versions of that, four on show here, um, including some new tooling to capture the original coal rails as not previously depicted on the EFE rail model, or modeled in 00 at all actually. And then finally, we've got another item for the modern image modeler, which is the YOB crane, and this small um, general purpose crane uh, was built in the 1970s um, and it's a model that fills uh, an important gap in on-track plant. It's something that's seldom modelled in uh, 00 or, or any scale really on a ready-to-run basis. Um, we've done the Windhoff MPV in the branch line range um, and there's been the Placer Tampa but uh, this is an important addition to that kind of uh, area of interest so really looking forward to that one arriving. Visitors today can also take part in a couple of our interactive displays. Um, one is making a tree with Woodland Scenics. Uh, it's a very simple system um, and we're using the Woodland Scenics armatures. These are just small plastic armatures which you bend up to shape um, to suit. Like that, takes about 30 seconds. You can bend and twist in any way you want to create the shape and the structure you wish. And then we add to that the Hobby Tack Adhesive. This is a, a tacky adhesive, it goes on white, and as soon as it's clear like this, you're ready to make your tree. We take the wooden scenic clump foliage, as you can see here, we've got a bowl full, and then we're just gonna dab it in. If you're cheesy, you can say one, two, tree, dip your tree in, and out it comes with a, a fully formed tree, ready to place on your layout. You can make a, a large forest, a forest canopy, in no time at all, an excellent value too. We're also demonstrating our Woodland Scenics field system, which uses the Static King Static Grass applicator. Um, and that is using the Static, static Grass concept, uh, where you are basically creating 3D grass. It's a very simple technique. You apply the Static Tack adhesive to your base. Obviously your layout would be um, the logical place to do it, but we're just doing a demonstration here on a small piece of card. So you apply your adhesive, turn on the applicator, got a light here to show it's turned on, loaded with the grass fibres, we're just going to give it a charge on the adhesive like that, and then we can apply the static grass fibres, that I do is on that, tap off the excess, and you can see there we've got 3D grass in no time at all. You can certainly add to that as well. We've got things like flowers added to these grass fibers here. We've got layering effects where you've used different lengths and different colors of fibers to create different grass profiles. And again, there's been flowers added to that. Um, so a great system, a way of adding excellent realistic scenery to your model railway um, and all ready to go with the Wooden Scenics field system. Arriving later this year is our brand new Kinesis DCC system. It's a brand new system developed in-house by Batman and it brings together wireless control, computer control and app control. Uh, something we're using to both demonstrate our products with the Class 31 and the 08 with the auto release and coupling feature um, and also the system itself with Gary giving hands-on demonstrations to uh, visitors to show them the 
the what's the wherefore is about kinesis so it's a dcc system uh, which is wireless it uses a base station connected to the layout and a wireless handset which has a up to 50 meter range and does not require line of sight so it's a wireless radio signal rather than infrared as used on our previous dynamic system so a big advantage there behind us we've got the laptop that's also connected to the base station and that is using the rail controller software that again has been developed by Backman and on here you can set up your track fan you can have multiple locomotive controllers on the screen uh, allowing you to control multiple locomotives and point control at the touch of a button in addition to the rail controller software we have the rail controller app and that will run the software once you've created your trap fan and input your locomotives you download those onto the app and you can use your phone or mobile device both android and apple as a, another controller for the system using the handset or the software or the app you control up to 60 functions on a model um, so whereas many of the locomotives nowadays if it's a sound fitted locomotive might have get it on for 30 functions all of those can be controlled using the new Kinesis system and that is by a simple bank of function button switches on the handset or by a press of a button on the Kinesis rail controller software. You can also label the buttons so you know exactly what button does what function for each locomotive you've got with a picture of the locomotive on the screen to give you a visual recognition of what you're controlling so all intuitive all easy to use. Supplied with a 2 amp booster, uh, 2 amp power supply, sorry. The initial set is a starter pack that includes the hub base station, the handset, and the full version of the rail controller software. It also gives you access to the apps, uh, which are free to download and operate alongside. You can expand the system by adding more handsets, which will be available separately. There'll be a booster coming as well for those that need extra power for the layouts. And you can obviously use the, the app as additional handsets if you don't wish to use the, the dedicated Kinesis handset. Uh, here we're just operating some automated programs, uh, which is one of the very strong points of Kinesis. Using the rail controller software, we can write programs, we can record programs, so you can run a train in the sequence that you wish to have it operate automatically. You record that operation, and then you can play it back on a loop time and time again. You can fine tune that using simple English programming terms no specialist language knowledge required or programming knowledge required it's all very simple and easy to understand with a full user guide to explain through the various stages of programming and the use of the system on a whole with the handset itself you can create micro programs um, which for example you might want to create a sequence of sound effects using different functions on a model which might have operated in real life for example you might have a diesel multiple unit where you want to operate the sound of the doors you want to operate the door interlock lights on the class 158 from batman branch line for example and you might want to operate the horn and maybe a guard's driver's whistle all in a sequence and without pressing each individual function button you can create a short program that will do all that with the press of one button so making your life easier for operating your model railway and getting all the fun that you want out of it. The system starts at a price of $399.95 for the basic setup that gives you the hub, base station, the edge handset and the rail controller software as well. Um, and that is looking to arrive in stores at the end of 2024. So the next revolution from Batman for DCC is Kinesis and that's going to be coming to stores later this year. Well, I think that's pretty much everything we've got on display here. So if anyone's coming down to the shop, please do come and speak to us, get involved and see what we've got to show you. And we'll certainly be demonstrating all these products and more at future events and in model railway exhibitions and more shop events like this. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to make sure you see all of our future content and hit the notification bell to receive a direct notification when we release something new. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.